In this video, we're going to learn about Graham's Law of Effusion. This law is named after Thomas Graham, who's this guy right here, and he developed this law in the 1800s. In this lesson, we're going to learn two things. We're going to learn the difference between effusion and diffusion, and then we're going to learn the equation for Graham's Law of Effusion, and then we're going to use it to solve a problem. So let's start with understanding what diffusion is, because it's kind of the simpler of the two definitions. And this is the process by which gas particles spread out in a given area. Maybe you've been in a situation where you're uh, in a dressing room after a sporting event or a, a gym, and someone across the room sprays a fragrance like perfume or body spray. And eventually, over a little bit of time, you're going to smell that fragrance as the molecules within the perfume or body spray diffuse throughout the room. You can also think of it uh, another way. Maybe you've experienced uh, having a pile of dirty clothes in your bedroom before. And uh, over time, that smell is not just going to kind of sit around those dirty clothes. It's eventually going to permeate throughout the entire room. And so that is diffusion. Effusion, on the other hand is the process in which gas particles escape through a tiny hole. Kind of a weird thing that we'd want to ever work with, but it's a little bit easier to measure effusion than it is diffusion. We can kind of measure the rate at which those particles exit. One uh, container, you can see how I have this set up here, all those blue things are gas particles, and we can measure how quickly they escape if we put a tiny pinprick and they start moving into the other chamber here, uh, we can just kind of count them as they move in there and measure the rate at which they start moving into that other chamber. And since effusion is easier to measure than diffusion, it's effusion that Graham's uh, law is based on. And it's probably not a big surprise what Graham discovered. He discovered that heavy gases are going to move slower than lighter gases. And the equation he used to describe that looks like this. It looks weird, but let's break it down. What this equation is used for is to compare two different gases. We have gas A and then gas B. And what we're doing is we're looking at the rate at which gas A moves compared to the rate at which gas B moves. And the way we calculate that is we take the square root of their molar masses. You can see we flip them over here. We have B on top and A on the bottom, uh, whereas A is on top and B on the bottom. We're just comparing any two gases at all. So let's look at an example. This is the kind of question you might see uh, in chemistry class. It says, compare the rate of a fusion of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas. So there's our two different gases we're going to compare. Now when we're dealing with hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, we'd be talking about uh, the H2 molecule and the O2 molecule. So the equation we're going to use is the, uh, the rate of gas A over the rate of gas B. And you always want to have the lighter gas on top. In this case, it's going to be hydrogen. And the way that I know that is I'd have to look at a periodic table. Uh, this hydrogen molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms. This O2 molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. So if I look at a periodic table, I want to look at the molar mass here. Uh, and I'll look at hydrogen first. Here's the molar mass of hydrogen. I'll round that up to the nearest whole number and multiply it by 2. So that'd be 1 times 2, which is 2 for hydrogen. And then... Oxygen is right here, and molar mass of oxygen is 16. So I could say it, the O2 molecule uh, would have a molar mass of 32. So hydrogen is the lighter one. So I'll put hydrogen on top, O2 on the bottom. And we flip them over on the other side, so it's the heavier one on top and the lighter one on the bottom. So I can now plug in the molar masses uh, into this equation. So the molar mass of molecular oxygen, or that molecule of oxygen is 32 grams per mole and the molar mass of hydrogen molecule is 2 grams per mole. I can plug that into my calculator and I get an answer of 4 and what this means is it means that the hydrogen molecule is going to move four times faster than the oxygen molecule and I can even write this as a sentence and we could state that hydrogen gas effuses four times faster than oxygen gas. And so that is Graham's law of effusion and how to use the equation to solve a problem.